and that's over no more nice views guess what the flight to Armenia got cancelled I thought I'll show you and I'll say hi to you right away from the airport in Armenia but unfortunately as you see we're stuck in Vienna in Austria and guess what we mean you are doing right now we have to find a hotel because the soonest flight towards Armenia is tomorrow because guess what even the next flight it's not gonna be straight to Armenia it's gonna be to the amazing country of Georgia to the capital Tbilisi so this is gonna be an interesting trip like I joked to Yulia we're gonna see three capitals right now we're in Vienna then we're gonna be in Tbilisi and then we're gonna go to Yerevan Armenia finally hopefully <laughs> so stay tuned right now we're having some Starbucks and then we're gonna go find some hotel in Vienna and stay overnight and tomorrow evening is the flight adventures have already started <laughs> as you can see Yuli is already happy <laughs> for 27 this looks like a labyrinth mm -hmm. 423 all right let's see how hotel. how much was this Yula? 80 euro no, 90, 90? Yeah. that's that's pretty expensive for one night it's clean. but it's clean you have to put in the key, I think, for the lights. Mm. No, maybe top. Uh huh. Okay, everybody, room for 90 euro. I know nobody cares, I'm just showing. For one night, got TV. What's here? Regular bathroom, toilet, shower, and probably locker here or maybe neighbors uh, neighbors okay maybe neighbors will come to visit us later and some views from Vienna this is not the city center I'm saying right away but I noticed that looks like a Lego city you see not much green areas but again this is not the city center so don't get me wrong you mean to Priyatna? Yulia means it's really nice here, everything is clean. Okay, so we're staying one night and tomorrow we're flying. Tbilisi, Georgia. Maybe if we get outside to the city later, it's already 8 o'clock, we're tired, but we'll, we will get out probably. I will record a little bit of Vienna, even though I already have some video or vlog about it. We'll see. Stay tuned. Next day in Vienna, just woke up, we checked out of the hotel, our flight is in five hours and Yulia suggested to go to see this beautiful, I guess, imperial summer palace of Belvedere. You probably heard that word a lot of times, including myself, but whatever. So we're going there to kill some time or walk around, see the palace and then fly.
Okay, everybody, looks like we're finishing our little short trip of this Belvedere Palace. I forgot to tell you, as you know, it's or it was already an unplanned trip to Austria, Vienna. I didn't prepare much, but I read that this palace was built, this was a summer complex for the Prince Eugene, and this was built in the 16th century, and I didn't know much about this. Yulia told me to come here. So we're finishing our trip, wrapping up uh, Austria. Next stop would be Georgia, Tbilisi. You have to catch the plane and expect more videos from next location. For now, enjoy this beautiful view behind us. We finally made it to Georgia, Tbilisi. This is the beautiful city of Tbilisi, capital of Georgia. We took this cable car all the way from the bottom. And as you see, we get the best views from the top. That's River Kura. And see all the churches? Georgia is famous for them. Everywhere you see churches, it's similar to Armenia. And the nice little balconies in the old city. This is the soul of Georgia. Guys, just a quick update. We're leaving Tbilisi. It's over. We have been here one day, as you saw. We tried to show you as much as possible, and now we're taking this mini bus towards Yerevan, Armenia. So, next videos you will see from Armenia. We will finally get to our destination. So, stay with us. Thank you. Everybody, we finally made it from Tbilisi, Georgia to the most beautiful and amazing city on planet Earth called Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. Hello again everybody, today is day 3 
of us being here in Armenia. We arrived three days ago, you probably already saw the video, I wasn't commenting much. When we stopped at the Georgia-Armenia border, I was recording a little bit that funny dog that we were feeding. And uh, what else happened to us, Yulia? Interesting. Oh, I wasn't recording, but we had some crazy driver who was driving like really, really fast. And we got from Tbilisi, Georgia to Armenia really fast in like probably four hours, four and a half hours. That was an adventure. It was just too late. I was tired. And these past few days I have been enjoying Armenia. Wasn't commenting much. You probably saw before this some scenes. Yesterday we were at RNE Winery, which is like uh, a village uh, two hours away approximately to the south from the capital. We went there, we did some wine tasting. Armenia has a lot of famous wines because the nature here, here is amazing. You get more than 300 days of sunshine, so it's a really good climate for uh, to grow some uh, grapes and make some wine, vodka or uh, brandy, cognac. What else? Today we're visiting Lake Sevan, the, one of the biggest lakes in, in the region and the biggest lake in Armenia, of course. As you can see, it's, it's almost like a sea. You can't really see the end of it. Uh, I believe it's probably the area, I'm not sure how much is the area, but it's like 35 kilometers by 70, something like that. And it's in the mountains. It has one of the cleanest, it's almost like Lake Baikal. It's famous for its clear water, as you can see. But the weather here in the mountains, it's still cold. I just went into the water and it was probably 13 Celsius, the temperature of the water, but I couldn't stay there longer than three minutes. So yeah, this is Lake Sevan, straight from Armenia. Hope you enjoy. I know I don't comment much from Armenia because we were just tired from this long road trip. So hopefully you like it. We just finished uh, hanging out on the beach. It's all only the month of June and it's still really cold here. July, sorry, it's actually July, yeah. The water in this Lake Sevan usually gets warm around August, September. So I only swam for three seconds, like I told you before. Other than that, I just paid. It was about 100 bucks, which is not cheap. This is me and Yulia on the road near Lake Sevan in Armenia. We're trying to be like Europeans and find some transportation. Oh, there's a car approaching. I'm kind of scared. Of course, my friends are there to pick me up. Don't think that I'm homeless. It's just I'm trying to figure out it on my own, you know? That was kind of fast. Hopefully, I can offer some villager or someone who's from this region going down that way some money, like $4, $5. In Armenia, it's kind of not bad for gasoline and we'll see if someone picks us up let's see Guys, so this guy picked us up, this old guy with his lady. Armenia is the most amazing country in the world. Look, a random guy picked us up. He got us some soda. He got, got us some cakes and he dropped us off here, right here. So of course I didn't leave him without nothing. I had to give him money. I was going to do it anyways, but just to let you know, this is one of the main reasons why people come to Armenia. Guys, people in Armenia have the best hospitality on planet Earth. This was amazing. Random guy. He doesn't know who I am. I don't know who he is. He just picked me up on the road. The guy says, I need to stop for a second at a store to pick up some stuff. Comes back with two like sodas. He got us two cakes. He's like, you guys are welcome. And he didn't actually know that I speak Armenian. So. This was amazing. Check this out. We got a different view this time. This is Lake Sevan in Armenia.
We're happy you left. Yulia is waiting. You ready? Let's go. Just hold it up. Hold it. Guys, check this out. Yulia, hold it up. No, not coming. Call him. They're boring, you know. Oh, oh. Hold it, hold it. Guys, we came to a restaurant. Yula will tell you what we have here. Some amazing Armenian food. Yula? Fish kebab. Fish kebab. Armenian cheese. Armenian cheese. Homemade. Summer homemade salad. wine. And summer salad. <laughs> and a nice view. Well, they put this thing because it's really cold here. It's probably like 13 degrees even though it's July, so... Bon appetit, Yulia!